Caddis Maximus here. I'm kind of changing the orientation of this video because it's just too much talking in the beginning. So, some basics about this projector. Then I'll do some showing of uh, its visual quality, which I'm actually satisfied with. This is a promotional product. And the whole reason I got it is, uh, you know, six months ago, a year ago, I got a brand called DB Power. And uh, this VISSPL V30 is leaps and bounds better than that DB Power. And for some reason, that DB Power for my channel, it got 10,000 views, which is a huge amount of views for my channel. And this projector is way better, especially considering it has 50% uh, brighter. It has a much more powerful uh processor i guess running off of android so it's just much faster um it has a lens cover glass lens advertises 100,000 hours for the led the fan's not too loud the biggest problems i had is with trying to directly connect a blu-ray player i wasn't able to get my blu-ray player to play sound through the hdmi but you know i hooked up this roku 3820x this 4k roku stick sound worked just fine through that and i'll do a a uh, quick little demonstration here of what it looks like 1080p the other big advantage is, is not it only has like a basic mechanical keystone adjustment which i thought was just a little bit curious uh but it turns out that it has a huge amount it has every form of software adjustment including including individual corner adjustments and keep both uh horizontal and horizontal and vertical electronic keystone adjustments so you can get this screen to look absolutely square of course it has all the uh functions of mounting it upside down the ceiling so it can mirror and reverse nice backlit buttons does not have a vga port but of course remote receivers on the front and back very responsive it has a fast processor in it two hdmi um at the end of the video, you can look at the unboxing. I was going to do that at the beginning, but now I'm doing it at the end. It has USB ports, which you can use to do things like power uh, media sticks. Of course, it has Bluetooth, so you can reconnect it to Bluetooth speakers. It does have a speaker, but it's very tinny. You know, any small projector will. But it'll get you through, I guess, in a pinch. Uses a figure eight cord. I'll all the things that comes with this really weird swab but apparently if you get dust particles somehow on the inside of the mechanism there's another cover right here under the sticker and actually in the manual tell you peel up the peel up the sticker get under that cover and then you can clean out some of the internals it is very bright uh and i should mention that it's a flow through design so heat pipes to cool the 90 watts is what this thing is rated for so it has a Quite a bit of power draw quite a powerful led um and it does have a dust filter which is very nice the other thing i was going to mention is versus that old one this thing weighs you know it's at least like three pounds glass lenses when you get this thing you actually notice you're like versus some of these just absolutely terrible quality uh, ones i see them at the thrift stores people are buying these cheap little projectors for their kids and stuff if you spend 170 bucks, this one is probably going to be, um, would be like the bare minimum in my opinion. There are others that are like the DB Power that are $170 and have, or far darker, have far worse menu systems, far less processing power, far less adjustments, and far less just general image quality and bill quality this actually has some weight you are you feel like oh that's actually halfway decent and you know features like metal inserts for the th threaded rods one thing i was to mention is that uh i'll do in the unboxing does come with a tripod with a you know a gimbal to adjust it but you can actually just unscrew the gimbal and just use the tripod as straight anyway i've already talked too much here's some demonstrations of uh its image quality and at the end of the video i'll have the unboxing well, after complaining about that last thing, I guess it's just my Blu-ray player won't do anything but won't send the output in the proper format. I plugged in this Roku stick, this 3820X, this is Roku 4K. And actually, audio through HDMI works just fine here. One thing I wanted to point out is the Roku automatically detected it as an HDR10 capable. Uh, and nowhere in any of their documentation does they describe it as being high dynamic range capable. 
Yep, this Roku detected it as being HDR. So anyway, we'll open up this weird website. And see how it uh, does on some HDR content. Yeah, nowhere on the projector is it displaying that it uh, supports HDR. Surprisingly enough, if we change the inputs here. You have to give it a second before you can switch back. If we just go to HDMI 1, it just says 1080p HD, yet the Roku still detected as HDR. A little bit of pixel crawl. Try this LG OLED ink art thing. did want to point out it does have nice little backlit buttons power light turns red when it's in standby and I got a handhold phone I just don't have space anyway compared to that DB power I reviewed uh, I guess it's a six months ago a year ago this thing is a quantum leap and surprisingly enough they're both the same price and uh, kind of why I'm into reviewing these is because all these basically Chinese companies are all really you know I guess it's a big market for these portable small projectors I go by the th thrift stores a lot and I see all sorts of tiny projectors I don't know if it's Walmart or Target who's selling them but I see about one a month I mean it's I know they're selling because I see ones that are this junk but I can tell you that this VISSPL V30 totally cheesy name blow it's basically the same price $169 is that DB power and it blows it out of the water it's the sound is much better one thing is it has very minimal keystone correction i have it pretty decent but what i was really surprised about here is if we go into the sound picture settings and then the projection settings surprisingly enough you can rotate it if it's tilted you can zoom and what i thought was interesting was this vertical correction so if the mechanical keystone is not enough you can do both electronic vertical and electronic horizontal and then you can do stuff like this I don't know what kind of surface you would be projecting on to actually need to have it be at that kind of an angle the other thing is you're noticing here is this thing is way more responsive it obviously has a much more powerful processor and then you have manual corner correction where you can do things like drag each corner on a four point keystone, which I think is actually pretty surprising. So it has a ton of adjustments. It has a lot of other much more helpful features besides the phone mirroring. If we go to the, so it's, they shouldn't call it specification because when you go into specification, it brings up this I couldn't figure out for a second it's actually the entire PDF instruction manual just right on the unit which is actually a smart move I don't know why more of these projectors don't do that um, and then you have you can change wallpapers it has a bunch built in or you can load them off the USB I mean this thing is m way responsive I mean it has a surprisingly powerful processor in it 
but I was going down to this weird companion mode. And it actually has like these kind of ambient screensaver things built into it. You can have regular screensavers, uh, you know, use it to display images like wall painting, a clock. There's one of a river. Where's that waterfall? So it's really surprising all the stuff that they've crammed in just into whatever built-in memory that it has. This is so you can hear the fan. Some people on some of the reviews complain about being noisy. I actually think it's just fine considering how a you know, projector. Some projectors really have loud fans. This one is more than tolerable. Not totally quiet. You would hear it just a little bit in the background, quiet sections of the movie, but it's not bad. Should mention that it also has the ability to do various mirroring upside down depending on exactly how you have it mounted, which is a nice extra. One thing I'll both give them credit and critique them for is they have this little three line button. They basically kind of, I don't know if other TVs and stuff, but I have a Roku TV and it's just like the Roku. You hit that button, you get this side menu with all the common settings. You can go into the image mode here. And I found that if you go into personal, then you can adjust the brightness, contact, contrast, saturation, sharpness, and hue. Actually, I probably should go to standard here. All right, let's see how it does on a video. Okay, Addis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Vispol. Very strange name. This is a native 1080p high definition Wi Fi wireless. Bluetooth, etc. One of those little LED powered overhead projectors. Well, projector now they don't, aren't always overhead. I'd say it seems to be packaged pretty decent. I did take this as a promo product for two reasons. I actually did one of these uh, cheesy projectors uh, called a DB Power and it just sucked. So when this company contacted me, I was hesitant, but I said, oh, why not? It looks like it's a nicer unit. And first off, and second off, a lot of people are buying these because they are cheap. People, they just use them outdoors for their kids, that type of stuff. Um, it's a little safer than a TV. They get oh, much harder to break. And to tell you the truth, that DB Power one, surprisingly enough, got 10,000 views, which is a big deal for my channel. I don't know why it got so many views. But I figured, for one that's a little bit better quality, we'll give it a shot. So anyway, this is our packaging here. We've got a two-year warranty on this unit which is halfway decent apparently the real company is vs king so they've been putting up youtube videos they got a bunch of qr codes to get it all set up it does have a cheesy speaker but the idea here is the fact is that this unit can actually connect to a bluetooth speaker and so you would just be using it for image rather than the sound that comes from it we do have a user manual here it comes with one of these kind of composite cables so if you're hooking up to like a VCR or an old camcorder you can do that it comes with just like a basic kind of cheesy plastic tripod which you know at least it's something many of them don't we have oddly enough a little dust wipe cleaner thing here it does come with a rudimentary HDMI cable so I'll at least give them credit for including the HDMI cable Here's our leveling foot if you just have it flat on the surface. And then this little baggie here has a, base, a real kind of just basic remote. Takes two AAAs, batteries not included. I'm not going to keep that HDMI cord. I'm not going to keep any of the rest of that stuff to tell you the truth. So we'll go ahead and toss this back in here like so. Come on now. Now it comes with a, I'll call it a pseudo projection screen. It comes with a, a basic cloth screen. And let's take a look at that here. So it makes the box seem a little bit heavier. What do we have? Um, sticky wall clips and it's held basically by elastic. So what we have is we have like this kind of basic string. And we have a piece of cloth. If we take a close look, 
You know, it seems like it's a 400 thread count sheet, but at least it's, I guess it's something if you don't have a surface or you're using this outdoors. It's, you know, something. Black top. And it just has some metal eyelets that you're just going to basically run this string through, interleave it through to hang it. This is obviously not a professional screen. It's not going to sit, you know, flat or any of that kind of stuff. But if you have a dark wall, it'll be better than nothing. At least it's cloth so you can wash it and bleach it if it does get dirty here. Do our baggie for it. So here it is, basic projector. At least it does come with a lens cover. We do have one set of keystone here, and I believe it has an electronic keystone. We do have uh, the obligatory manual buttons on top of it. A hilarious little thing here, which is LCD technology, full high definition and a very tiny logo. It does use an LED bulb, so it should have like 10,000 hours. Remote receiver on the back, remote receiver on the front, uh, the obligatory HD 1080p figure eight plug that used to come with a VGA input but they just since eliminated that at least this one actually has two HDMI's I believe these USB ports are just to power external speakers it's supposed to be rated at 480 ANSI lumens I keep on forgetting to mention that that's the big deal 480 ANSI lumens very high power LED you might be hard to see but through these vents there is an aluminum uh, heat pipe heat sink and so it does it is fan cooled I guess this is the v30 well this is made pretty recently 12 23 2022 so the fan and wisely at least they included this is there's a little filter so the fan sucks in from this side and it isn't gonna completely fill it with dust because you have a little filter that's pretty easy to clean out otherwise a basic unit and actually feel Versus that terrible DB power one, at least this one for 160 bucks, which is just a few bucks more than the old one, um, feels substantially heavier. This thing is a good couple three pounds, so at least it feels like it's halfway decent. The other one I got, that DB power, just was absolutely horrendous. And we do have a mount here for the quarter inch 20. And oddly enough, and I don't understand why, it must be because of the electronics, but the leveling foot that you use if it's on a flat surface um, is offset. And it must be because that's the only area where they had space to be able to thread this through. A little normally it goes right in the middle, so it's a little bit odd that it's offset like this. I don't really understand it. Let's have one speaker. There it is, down firing. I also have to give them credit, it's kind of hard to see, but those are actually brass metal inserts. So they won't, they're not just threads right into the plastic. Didn't want to mention, you can just see the colorization here, but it is coated optics, so the optics are going to be better than the old one, and it does appear to be genuine glass. Which would explain why it's so much heavier, because that old cheesy, really cheap one I had before, I think had plastic lenses, and uh... Man, the image quality just was terror unusable. So I suspect this will at least be usable for the whatever the 160 bucks or so that they want for it.